Disclaimer, doll customization is a hobby for adults only. This is due to the materials used such as sharp blades and toxic aerosols. This causes irreversible changes to personal property. Under no circumstances should anything in this video be recreated by a child. If you're looking for child friendly content, please go to YouTube Kids. Happy New Year Internet Adventurers and welcome to Ronile Dolls. I'm Ronile and today is a nice short video where I'll be making a moth girl using this Frankie Stein who is very in need of some TLC. First we remove her face with acrylic nail remover. I used a tissue for this because there was glitter as part of her face. Then we cut off the hair, which was absolutely disgusting. And then we submerge her head in hot water and just tug it off of the neck peg. We then remove the plugs from the inside so the head is nice and clean. Now let's move on to doing her clothes. For this I took some pre-made factory clothes from a Abby Abominable doll, mainly her leg warmers, headpiece and this little fur ruff which I cut off the thing and then some tights from I believe Rochelle Goyle doll. I had this sparkly ribbon and a little bit of green fabric from a t-shirt which I cut from the bottom of the t-shirt so I wouldn't have to hem the dress later. To make the dress I make it a simple shift dress by just pinning it on the back of the doll and just sewing tight to the body. Luckily this is a nice stretch fabric. I then pin the fur ruff on the inside section of the dress so then it can be turned right side round and look really nice. For the moth girl's wings I iron some interfacing on this nice sort of beige coloured fabric. I'll sew around it and leave a gap so they can be turned inside out so we've got the nice part. I then painted the wings with some watered down acrylic paint in a sort of dry brushing fashion. I wanted it to look a little bit messy so then it seemed more natural. I painted them on both sides in this similar way and I think it looks kind of good. This is the completed outfit and I think it looks really cute. Next we shall do the face up. So I spray the face with Humboldt acrylic matte varnish and I get to work with blushing with some teal greens and a little bit of like an earthy brown and some lighter greens as well. Which, and also some white for highlights. I then get my watercolour pencils and begin sketching the face and it is at this point where I start making mistakes which I kept trying to fix and I wanted to make her look good. I gave her a lot of eye makeup and a sort of sassy look and her eyebrows are quite frankly horrible mistakes and abominations of nature. but. Hey ho, they're on her face. So I just kept pushing forward, thinking I just one more thing will make it perfect. And then I decided to scrap it all and change her face entirely. As you can see, I made her eyes much larger, sorted the eyebrows, gave her cute little heart lips, and put freckles all over her face, which has made her a billion times better. Now on to doing her hair and finishing her up. I 
got some black yarn which I split into individual strands, looped them around this knitting needle and then brushed out into some nice wefts which I straightened to make them nice and flat and shiny. I then used Mod Podge to just glue them to the head. I used the matte Mod Podge because it's the nicest one. And I just slowly do this for a while. As a final touch I got these fake leaves and painted them a mottled brown colour to match her wings and I will be gluing them to the fur headpiece to make the little antennas that those fuzzy moths have which are the cutest. I'll be sticking them on with my glue gun and here she is all complete and I think she's adorable. I was really having doubts about this project guys but she is just so cute and sweet looking and she is currently available for sale on my Instagram which is at Ronile Dolls and you'll probably see more pictures of her over there she's just so sweet and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like subscribe and comment down below what you want to see more of or less of and have a wonderful new year